So these days, I'm seeing an obsession about learning something as fast as possible. It seems there is a lot of obsession with learning something in a certain number of hours or a certain number of weeks. Look at the tutorials on YouTube. The most popular videos are centered around the idea that you can learn a skill in a short period of time. Learn to program in 10 hours. How I learned Spanish in under three months. Muscle up after 30 days of training. When I see people get into a sport like weightlifting, they always seem to have a set time frame on what they want to accomplish and when they want to accomplish it. Now, don't get me wrong, goal setting is very important, but when you're a beginner at something, you don't know what pace you should be moving at. For example, a beginner weightlifter might have the goal to snatch their body weight, let's say 80 kilos, after 3 months of training. The thing is, they actually might accomplish this goal, but this is the problem. This is like a false achievement. Sure, weightlifting is objective. 80 kilos is 80 kilos. But you have to ask yourself, what does this mean for future progress? The rush to snatch 80 kilos in a short period of time from absolutely nothing probably meant they rushed through the learning process, skipped out on mobility, and just focused on power snatching instead. After snatching 80 kilos, they set the goal to snatch 100 kilos. Unfortunately, they'll hit a wall with progress because relying on pure strength just isn't enough to add 20 kilos onto their snatch. To make matters worse, they developed bad habits which will take a while to correct. They'll eventually come to the realization that they actually need to work on mobility, drop the weight significantly, and work on basic technique. Going from a high of getting PR power snatches every week to doing mobility exercises with a PVC pipe for weeks can surely drop their motivation. And they might just quit. And this isn't uncommon. I see this all the time with people that get into weightlifting or learning anything. They want quick gratification or even just a medal to say they accomplished X in a short period of time. If instead the weightlifter intentionally slowed down the learning process and really spent time mastering the movement before adding weight, he wouldn't be able to snatch 80 kilos after 3 months, but he'll be in a much better position to progress long term. If you want to make some good progress in your training, then you can check out my programs on my website. There's now a Black Friday sale where all programs are 30% off. The link will be in the description and pinned comment on this video. So if we were to graph out these two scenarios, trying to snatch 80 kilos with a fast approach and trying to snatch 80 kilos with a slow approach, you can see the fast approach to learning allowed him to snatch 80 kilos after three months of training. But like I mentioned, this is a false achievement because rushing the process with learning harms future progress. After this point, he tries to increase his PR to 100 kilos, but hits a wall at 90 kilos. And after weeks of trying, he realizes he just needs to go back to the PVC pipe and learn proper technique. Now, a lot of people will quit at this point, but he learns from his mistakes and keeps working on technique. After months of working on mobility, technique, and fixing his bad habits, he manages to snatch 80 kilos again, but this time it's a full snatch, and it's with good technique. The time it took him to actually snatch 80 kilos was 16 months. Now compare this with the slow approach. With this approach, he learned to snatch 80 kilos with good technique after only 8 months compared to 16 months of training. And I actually don't think this is an exaggeration. This is realistic. I've seen many people follow the fast approach, and they waste a huge amount of time. Looking forward in the future, you can see the fast approach, it took him close to 2 years to snatch 100 kilos. But with the slow approach, it took him only 14 months. Hence the title of this video. Learning as slow as possible is actually learning as fast as possible. In the long term. If we were to make a level of enjoyment graph, it would almost look the exact same. 
and it shows why many people don't follow the slow approach. It's because it's boring and demotivating at the beginning to barely see the weights increase. With the fast approach, it's fun and motivating to see yourself progress fast. So there's a huge problem with this philosophy of challenging yourself to accomplish a certain goal in a short period of time. And this doesn't just apply to weightlifting. I'm sure this applies to learning how to play an instrument, learning a language, or a new skill. I'm not saying you should decrease the amount of time you spend learning something, but you should slow down how fast you progress in order for yourself to gain an understanding of the basics. Over the long term, you'll actually learn more. People like to set a huge goal, which they'll work to achieve in a short period of time. When they struggle to achieve what they set, it's demotivating. Instead, why not imagine how good you'll be at a certain thing if you stick with it for 10 years. This will give you plenty of time to learn.